Which one are you choosing? Left or right? How is this allowed? Did you see the problem? <laughs> no. So that's what he's been mowing with. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you know, because of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do a Sunday video. You'll see there is something that is not normally here. Yes, boy, we have a JCB Richard Weston trail in the back and a mower. And this is how we got it. <laughs> Guess he's just got the keys to his dad's Porsche. Yeah, boy. Let's go pick a very, very fast tractor trailer and a front mower. Yes. It's going to be the best mowing chopping whatever ever we get better every year we don't know how it's possible but it is oh. i can buy myself flowers seatbelts team Dane doesn't take it off yes red suits me <laughs> how is this allowed how is your mother allowed this? <laughs> His father's car, this one. How is your father allowed this? Going to Liverpool. Oh, yeah. Get burned out. See you in a minute. Right, off to Liverpool. I'm done with Dad's Porsche, leaving it here. Some people will recognise this yard. So, going from a very, very low car to no one's here. Ooh, bit of a sneak preview. Drill, Bert spreader. Merlots. Do you want to see a three day old combine? Look at this. This thing is huge. That's what she said. <laughs> Brand spanking you straight out of the factory. Wow. That's so big. Like, do you want to see how big this is? It's this big. She's huge. She's big. You're chunky. Massive, isn't it? And uh, yeah, that is right. What was my favorite track still last year? The dream, the one. I'm still speaking to, uh, well, I'm not actually speaking to it, but we're trying to raise a uh, an appeal to the Get Tom A JCB Fast Track. They haven't messaged me or haven't acknowledged the appeal at all. But yeah, that's what we're doing. How exciting is this? Ollie said up yesterday, he's actually away at a tractor pulling event currently. So I've just been on the phone to him. And he has a front mower and we have our side mower and dad obviously has his new side mower which is on demo we've got the fast track is it a 4220 so it's 220 horsepower fast track with the front mower on sick we've got a grain trailer on as well we've got some straw as well because absolute legend i think andrew's coming just to say hello in a minute as well just going to show me how the front mower works hopefully i don't crash it this time I'm not going to crash it it'll be fine it's a little bit different to what i was Two minutes ago, wasn't it? Porsche Boxster, now in a um, JCB fast track. Just a little bit different. Yeah! The best tractor in the world. Well, the most comfiest, and if I do anything, that Porsche is great, but give me a fat man's car any day of the week. Comfort is the way forward. Look, I even know where the key goes. Oh God, I'm just such a fast track guy. Do you know what I mean? I am a fast track guy. Fast track guy. So we do have GPS as well, which could be exciting. Right, I'm gonna set this up, get home. Let's go have a play. I've never used Trimble before. We're wearing using for their, for their buildings. What look how cool this is. Oh, wow. I love JCBs. I say that like I go in them all the time. I never go in them. I'm very fortunate to have a mate like Ollie and just go, can I borrow it? I'm waiting for Ollie. So I had to put him next to me. Which one are you choosing? Left or right? I know where I'm gonna go. Sorry, Dad. JCB. Every day of the week. Probably 50 times more expensive. Maybe. I don't, I don't know what that thing is. Definitely. Now that's a big tractor. Oh, Sam, you doing the sport of tractor pulling, isn't it? Definitely not. It's Rolly Blogs. He's back. With it's huge Zerion. How heavy was this in the 18.4 ton, but we have took one of the weight blocks off and it's on the front of the fence. So Rob's driving that one. 18.4 tons. Now this is a rig. We're about to go back and here's Rob. Oh, I caught a camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, we're about to go. Just got back now. Parked up, locked up. Dad's little pet lamb. Um, and I was just thinking on the way back, big thanks to Ollie. You know, massive. I rung him and just said, can I borrow it? And he said, yeah, he was just amazing. And he, he offers it and I say, yeah, it's incredible. And I know, I know it's not mine. I, I know it's not mine, but I'm very fortunate to be able to, to be able to use it front mower this time. Do you remember 
when I first started YouTube, we had the Hurleyman and we had the JF and we were doing 80 acres. This time we're looking at doing about 160, 170 acres with two Hurleymans, with two Malone mowers and a front mower and with a JCB and a big Richard Weston trailer. Mental it. Well, we will start the video probably, but probably mental driving back. Is it going to start? Is it going to start? Go on, choke. The legend got it going. And we have trailer on because I kind of made a bit of a mistake over the weekend. I'll show you all that is first a little bit of detail. Father in the Keenan just sold some more beef because we got a bit of surplus for the farm shop. So these are all the oh, pulling heifers. <whistles> Always look good in the sun. We don't want anything here. Right, don't want anything to shut you up. See the problem. So what day did this happen? Saturday. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. It's Monday today. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the bull if we can. Yes, small. No. Like I don't know if to keep that in because it's just doing a little bit. Get rid of the bull. Get rid of the bull. Got a big lad. He's looking more like Neptune every day. Look at that red heifer. That is a beautiful heifer. I got a photo of it. Looks like this. That is a nice heifer. Look at you. Girl. So we put the heifer and calf in the carving box at the moment. They can just stay together. All the cows are down there and it's never seen an electric fence before. So I don't want to put an electric fence in it. Do something it shouldn't do. Got a cow here with a bad foot that I did last Thursday. Still a bit sore, she didn't want to go down. So we thought, leave her in here. She's got grub, she's got bed. And that's that heifer we pulled again. We'll mix that heifer with uh, the rest of the herd tonight and she can follow the rest of the herd. You don't want to try and put that heifer down there uh, on its own. I had not seen electric fence before. I've done it before. It was a mistake, so I've learned from it. Dad's just feeding cow. Next job is, I've actually just opened this up because uh, cows have been allowed to be go inside as well during the night. So they've been allowed to lie, lay down. But I'm going to close these cubicles off leave those cubicles open because they need to get up anyway for the bale and then I'm going to put the bale of straw here I was actually going to chuck the bale of straws bale of straw at the other, the other farm but we're going to use most of it here I just got rid of another 12 of beefers to our buyer I just I was going to ring Joe Seals but our buyer just, he was picking some cool cows up anyway um, so he's picked another 12 up two cool cows gone so 14 gone today we got a fair price for what we wanted uh, which is good so he picked them up so I've only got 12 over the road there for the farm shop and I might even bring them back to here just so it's we don't have to go with the don't have to go with the Keenan make our lives that little bit easier right now we're gonna tip these off this is gonna be cool so I'm just gonna tip them out I spoke to Wally and he was okay with me doing this so much stuff in my bucket <laughs> this could go two ways fingers crossed it all works out tip them out Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Take it over on the straw duty. I don't know where he's going. He's 
the Savior because I've got so much stuff to do today already. I don't need to change the blades on the mower, I need to get the mower on the JCB. But uh, obviously we use the milk cart to feed the calves. But it's been a bit sluggish, so I was like, okay, I'll blow the tires up. Me and Luke, what are we doing this morning? We're feeding some calves or something. Heard an almighty bang. Blew the tire out, didn't I? It was loud, wasn't it? Wow. Well, wow, like a gunshot, so we're just going to change that and then nick it from the old wheelbarrow thing. But yeah, it was big, a big bang. Um, yeah, so I thank the Lord, Dad's just helping with this job, which is good. You can always lean on me in blue skies of grey. We are always there. Dad moved all the straw for me. Cows can go down that side. Luke is currently waiting for number 57, who is the slowest milk ever. You're about to see an angry Luke. Angry Luke? Thank you. Yeah, he dropped 146 litres. Tell you what, we just have 30 of them cows. We're done, aren't we? He's nearly done now. He's a slow milking cow. They're on grass, they're doing well. I swapped the wheel one over there because you don't have any little bit inner tube got that going i'm also on this new milk thing i take the brakes off because it goes through muck and straw all the time it builds up on the tires the restrictive load it's proper hard to push taking that off no bother just never a good sight that you all right yeah, just take your butter milk balance empty there's nothing you're gonna go there. straight with it yeah cool oh, you reckon it's using a bit of water yeah, I think so. It is using a bit, but hey ho. Right, I need to go find somewhere to put a trailer and get the mower on. Big day. Oh, that heifer's doing really well. It's calf's doing really well, which is good. We had another cow carve yesterday, a third carver, and then we had another heifer carve as well. We've had nine heifers since Friday. Today it's Tuesday morning, so. Well, we only had one on Friday. So let's say Saturday, Sunday, Monday. In the space of probably 72 to 96 hours, so three to four days, had 10 cows carve. That's a lot for us, because on average, no, we milk twice a month. Because we milk about 130 at the moment. On average, we should have one calf every three days-ish. So 10 should be in the month. So we've had 10 in three days. Busy, busy. Right, trailer off. And uh, mower on, yeah boy! I hope the mowers fit. If they don't, I'll just use side mower, but it'd be nice if it did. The big field, you know I talked about in another video, is um, the big field I love to mow and chop because it's a bit such a big field, is less grass on it because um, sheep were on it for too long. I don't care what you say, that's the reason. Sheep were on it for too long, yeah? But what I'm thinking is because it's younger grasses, because it won't be as to head, I think that big field should come here because it would be nicer grass technically. Mix it in with this lot. It'd be a bit of a mixed bag, I think, this year. Like some fields want to come here, the better fields want to come here, and then the worse fields want to go over the road because that's where the beef stock are. And, well, I say worse, it's just they're a bit more long in the tooth. So they're um, a little bit more stalky and stuff. So I want to bring the soft stuff. Oh, and we're doing something for the first time. First time ever, yeah, ever we've mowed that field last year in October. This year, we're gonna mow it for first cut grass. It just got, it just got past us. The other thing, I cannot remember how to set this thing off at all. Start with the easy ones, like. Okay, that was scary. Yes, you can definitely see why we've decided to chop this field. So much grass. I'm gonna try and bring the mower really under me because, fingers crossed, it will work together. But if it doesn't, I'll have to take the front mower off because I'm better just using the side. It might take me a while, but we do have it on, which is good. Pull that. Not there now. Oh. Why won't it go above there? It's the next question. I was just a bit fearful it was catching that tyre, but it's nowhere near the tyre. YouTube, I am an idiot. We all know this anyway. Oh God, it's going down. Stupid boy. Look at that. That's what's happened. It's come out. Simple thing. I think it might overlap just. Maybe not. This thing is huge. Like, huge. About there. Want to build over. Well, all of them. So Dad's thinking the mows, the blades are pretty good. Uh, I, I can't really argue that. That blade's still pretty good. Strong blade. But, like, that one's tired. So that could do with just flipping around. Tell it's mowing time. Lollies. And then you flip it around, so... That's a bad blade. That's a good blade, see this? Flip them round. Post it back in there. Do 
honest, that blade still looks pretty good. That compared to that. So that is that done. I have three spare blades. This one was to been absolutely hammered. Punch. And nice. That's how you change ours. Bit of a pain in the ass because you have that. I'll show you how to change this one. It's so much easier. Work this. It's full of mud. Anyway, there you go. This is how we used to do the old J, yeah? Here it is. You can do it on your own, I'm pretty sure you, you can. You, you, normally, you don't normally go up, you go down. So that's what he's been mowing with. Holding this. And you turn it around like that. Yeah, okay. You know, you can do one on your own. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. And that's like that. As easy as that. Two more to change. And jobs are good. That'll do. Now, next job, push it to the left as much yeah. as we can. You put these in your cam just in case you yeah. need one. Where well, are those others? They're here. That's what we've turned off, you're short yeah. of. That's a JF blade. Yeah, they'll do. Fine. That's a thingy blade, a Malone blade. And that's a JF blade that's straight, but it is just slightly longer. Like a lot. Blade. Just chuck them on the front there. Yeah. Now, we've got to try and move this. It's going to be a podicament. We've moved it across as much as we can. We both think, unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna. No, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. We don't think it's gonna catch, which Even is annoying. It's only a nine foot more on the front. You've only six inches, nine foot yeah, more, yeah. it's six inches. So if that's just moved across, if it's only three inches, he'll have to drive very straight. Very straight. Yep. Well, uh, I've got another job as well to finish it off. But fingers crossed this works. We'll find out in the actual mowing video. Another problem before we start uh, mowing. This is in the way. We're meant to be finished by the 15th of May, meant to be in the new parlor. It's currently 17th of May. We don't even have fiberglass on the block work, so that's great. Uh, but Dan is here to save the day. Leave it all. We're gonna move that bin here, try and get it in as much as we can, so we can open it up, because we're filling it up every Tuesday. We get a load on Wednesday, so that's the plan. We're gonna undo it. We're gonna try and lift it. We're gonna try and drag it. Just got the phone to Rob Ashcroft, Mark, and he's gonna come back when he comes back from holidays on holiday in Tenerife. His five glasses booked, he's booked, and the parlor fit is just booked. Yes, come on! Come on! We're getting there, people. We're getting there. From someone who's just bought this lately, how expensive do you reckon that is? I think it's around the 20 to 30 pound a meter. A meter. Unreal. It's like 30 meters there. Eh? Crazy, isn't it? See if we can move this bin. So we have moved it. I'm going to leave it with Dan to put it all up. We can fill it up there. The only thing is, it's going to restrict us with chopping grass, which is a bit annoying. We can only really go to here, because then the wagons are going to have to come here, aren't they? Just thought of that. To load it up. Ugh. There's always something. That's good news, just spoke to the driver, and he's got loads of pipes, they've got a roll of pipes as well, so any issues, so we can really push him back, we can blow it off for taking four, six weeks, uh, whilst that's in, it makes sense to chop the wood. So guys that is the end of the video loads of prep goes on even before we start mowing and obviously with the cow carving gotta love these little things do you reckon it will work i was always told a nine foot mow won't work with a 10 foot mow behind it has to be a 10 foot and a 10 foot or a 10 foot and a nine just to get that extra six inches will it work let me know in the comment sections and good news about the bin hope you have a great day we'll see you on friday